Move. Move, you stupid pencil. Move. Do as I say. Look, I made it move. Just, I made it move. Just, will you see that? I, I made it. Oh, oh, I made it move. I can use the force. Welcome to Movie Logic, and um, today I'll be showing how you can do that. Well, that, 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 but for real. That's right. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to use the force. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, maybe I didn't word that correctly. I'm not going to be teaching you how to use the force, but I'm going to be teaching you how to theoretically, how humans, we could theoretically use the force. In order for us to confirm uh, that we can use the force, we have to know exactly what the force is. We have to understand what the force is, the exact de raw definition of the force. We must know it. In the original Star Wars film, 1977, later dubbed The New Hope, the Force is first described by Jedi Obi-Wan Obi Kenobi. The Force is what gives a Jedi his power. It's an energy field created by all living things. It surrounds us and penetrates us. It binds the galaxy together. You're probably sitting there thinking, there's no way something like that could possibly ever exist, right? But let's, uh, let's just break down what Obi-Wan Kenobi says here. One of the key things Obi says is, it's an energy field. So I looked up energy field and I just found a bunch of whacked out crazy stuff about chakra that is just crazy, okay? And so after stumbling around the internet researching for a little while, I came across something called an electromagnetic field. And an electromagnetic field is an electrical field produced by electricity charged objects that affects other electrically charged objects. So by effects, it means, you know, it can move them, you know, it can make them levitate. And just in case you don't believe me and you think I'm spewing complete nonsense, sharks actually find their prey by detecting living things, by detecting their electrical field. Yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. So, we all have electricity in us, which means we all have electromagnetic fields, though they're small, which means that, theoretically, the force could exist because with electromagnetism, you can, you can, uh, um, move any, you know, you can, uh, what is it, the word that they use, I think it was disrupt or something, but yes, you can move anything with electromagnetism. You can just like gravity and all that great stuff. So we've confirmed the first two sentences, which are the only sentences that really matter. I mean, the, the others, I mean, uh, the, this is where the Jedi get their power. You know, okay, yeah, it, technically, um, knowledge is power. And just in case you didn't know, um, the neurons or something like that, flashing, I'm not a, a brain guy. I just know certain stuff about certain stuff, if you know what I mean. I'm just kidding. So, uh, we have this all bundled up nicely, right? I mean, we're done, right? We have everything we need. I mean, electromagnetism is the force. Because electricity is in all of us, and with electromagnetism, I messed it up, I messed it up, I messed it up. Electromagnetism is in all of us, and I just got a text. Because electricity is in all of us, so is electromagnetism, which means that we can move stuff with our minds. With our minds! That, there you go, I did it. But this theory goes way deeper than just that. I mean, come on, we need more proof than just two things, okay? I think that the um, the Jedi in the movies, when they say they're strong with the Force, that basically means that they have more electricity in them, and that's why we also see that they're really smart. That means because they can um, they can shoot uh, knowledge through their ba brain faster, if that makes any sense. And this also explains why um, 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 dark for dark Force users can shoot electricity out of their hands because they have more electricity in their body than the average human. 
So that's all, you know, that explains everything, right? So yes, the force very well could exist. And as our minds expand and our brains evolve, we could find ourselves getting closer and closer to being just like the Jedi. Yes, that's right. I believe in the near future, we will have the power of the Jedi to move stuff with our big, gigantic brains! Because we'll have so much electricity moving through our brains, so much electricity in our bodies, that we could use electromagnetism to our will. Did that, did that make any sense? Or do I just sound like a nut job? Hey! Science! This video make any sense to you at all? Well, if so, then, you know, comment below and, you know, add to my theory. Add stuff that you, you know, and if you didn't get it, you know, just ask questions. You know, I'll answer any question you have. Ask as many questions as you want. And, you know, and if you want to, do your own research on this. And you'll find a lot of stuff. I mean, you know, and, um, you know, if, you're, if you believe in um, telekinesis, I believe is what it's called. Yeah, telekinesis. Um, that that can all also be explained by this and you know key too. Uh, key is nothing More than the electricity through your body giving you power. That's, that's like literally what it is if you look it up uh, it, it, it's a Key and science or whatever something like that But yeah, I hope this video made any sense and I hope it had some logic to it because honestly science can be or not be but sound very illogical at times uh, like for example this video Let's face it, he can't use the force. But you know who can? Sharks can. Be careful of the sharks. That is all. Now leave. <sighs> leave, I say, and give a like. Like the video. God, I'm a geek. Just cut, cut.